Good evening. We learned today the man believed to have hatched the coordinated terror attacks here almost a week ago is dead. Officials confirming he was killed in that blazing gun battle just outside Paris yesterday. But the death of Abdul Hamid Abaou doesn't have this rattled city breathing any easier. And we'll explain why in a moment. But we start with an NBC News exclusive tonight. For the first time, an inside account of the Germanic police raid that ended the hostage siege at the Bataclan Theater, where nearly 90 people were massacred. The man who led the raid is speaking only to us, describing the daring assault from start to finish. For his own security, his face is covered, and he goes only by his first name, Jeremy. By the time Paris's SWAT team, known as BRI, had arrived at the Bataclan, one terrorist had already been killed by police. Jeremy knew it would be up to his team to rout out the remaining attackers and free the hostages. We took position at the end of the theater, and then we discover like a uh, hell on, on earth. I mean, more than maybe seven, eight thousand people were laying on the floor. Seven, maybe eight hundred. Yeah, laying on the floor, tons of bloods everywhere. No sound, nobody was screaming. There was no time to help the wounded and dying. The attackers were still in the building. So your team goes upstairs yeah. into the balcony. Where did you find the terrorists? In the last door, we approached the door and suddenly one of the terrorists oh, on a stage, we don't know, asked us to go backward. So I tried to speak with them and he told me that he wanted to negotiate. So I said, okay, give me a phone number. The terrorist identified himself as a soldier of the caliphate and said he'd come to fight France and Hollande. No demands, yeah. just rhetoric, and time was running out. This is your team. Yes. BRI Commander Christophe Molny passed down the green light for the assault. Their behavior was very unstable, considering they had already killed 100 people. With no time to plan, the team had to improvise. They got the theater layout from fire evacuation diagrams on the wall. This was the first thing that went through the door. Exactly. And, and it's pretty obvious what happened. Yeah. As soon as we opened the door, the terrorist, one of the terrorists, they shot uh, like between 25 to 30 rounds of uh, AK-47 uh, bullet. So 7.62 caliber. And that's it. These are these are exactly. the Exactly. Immediately we've got <clears throat> a guy in the middle of the of the group get get hit in the hand, so he fell down because of the his, the pain and uh, one, fell one, down. one of your officers yeah, was hit. Yeah. In the middle of the, the group. First thing we saw that the guy is shooting and, and a lot of maybe twenty hostage between the shooter and us. We cannot shoot at that time because it too it was too risky for the hostage at the end of the hallway. We found the two terrorists. It was like a dead end for them. And the first one blew himself with the, with the explosive jacket. And the second one tried to do the same, but he got shot by the two first BI officers. They were both wearing suicide vests. Exactly. And one of them went off. Yeah, there Did was blood everywhere. They rescued others who had hidden in other rooms, some on the roof. When you looked around that theater, what were your thoughts when you saw what they had done? For us, it was so intense, the assault, uh, the bullets, the explosion, all the stuff, we're still very focused on what we did, to be honest. And maybe half an hour after, we, we, we saw what the older environment, and for us it was very, very, very tough. How are, you, how are you guys doing? I mean, that's a lot to take in. We're still together. We came back to the office and spoke together until maybe 7 in the morning, and maybe it's going to be some trouble for, for some of us in the in next weeks or something, but for now, so far, it's still okay. But you saved a lot of lives. I think so. Police say none of the hostages was struck when the attacker detonated his vest during that assault. The officer that was shot was hit in the hand. He is expected to survive. And by the way, this same team known as BRI helped free hostages from a grocery store after the Charlie Hebdo attack and supported another BRI team in yesterday's bloody, deadly terror raid in Saint Denis. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and then click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.